Today's video from Sam for us. So we're taking a look at group descriptor programming on the ER260 BEJ register. Um, so in my previous video we've covered PLU programming. What you can also do is assign PLUs to groups um, for the purposes of running a group report. So this video we're going to show you how to give a group a description so it makes a bit more sense on your report. So the first thing to do is to turn the metal key marked P round to the PGM position, arrow down to line 2 which is group, cache to go into it and then you choose your group number. So the default memory allocation gives you uh, 10 groups. To program group 1, press 1 and then cache and then press cache to go into the description. So we can call 1 bar sales. cache to save, clear to come back out for group 2, call this ticket sales, orders tickets, obviously it doesn't really matter what you call them, you can call them anything you want, it's for the, the reason for doing this is to give your group report, um, make it a bit more like it makes some sense. Cash to save. Obviously you can go on and program all 10. There are some other settings in the group. Um, add to group total. Um, send to KP. So KP is kitchen printer. In theory you can connect these machines up to kitchen printers and it's the group programming that controls how that works. But in, in my opinion there's not enough PLUs on this machine for it to work as a um, hospitality machine. I'd personally be looking at something like the ER940 from the ER900 series so I would only be programming group descriptions when I've done that you might want to go into your PLUs and just make sure they're assigned to the right group so I don't think I covered that in my PLU video so if I go into PLU programming this one is adult entry or adult admission so I'm going to put that into group 1 so you just scroll down until you get to the group 1 as default it's in group 1 just double check you can assign it to multiple groups but you don't really want to so that's in group 1 if you want to put one in group 2 so my actually thinking about it no that's in the wrong group I want this one to be in group 2 don't I ticket sales scroll down to group 1 and then just type in 2 because you want it in group 2 cash to save and then this, just to double check one of our ale, so our Stouford's Press should be in Group 1 because it's bar sales. I'm sure it's defaulted to Group 1, it is. So now we can come out of there, turn the key back to Reg. We sell some Stouford's and some of this one. Cash. Turn to X and let's just run a quick group report. So we've got X reports, financial, time, PLU group, key back to reg, now we can see we've got group 1, bar sales and then group 2, ticket sales. Ok, I hope that video has been helpful, got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of the ER260 and other SAM 4S cash registers, uh, so you're welcome to check those out, you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sam4shelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.